So this is why this interaction is really broken. Like, really broken. Fun and interactive, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. It is time for our day one expansion review. Whizbang's workshop launched yesterday. I streamed it for like eight plus hours. I played some more off stream, been digesting it, talking about it, going over some game breaking bugs like the one in the intro. What the hell is that? We'll have a gameplay video on that, by the way, later today. So stay tuned. Get that deck in there before it gets nerfed because it is confirmed to be bugged, by the way. Uh, we're going to go over all the controversies around some bundles the shop update there's a bunch of new portraits we'll fully preview and then just general impressions of whizbeg's workshop is it fun is it good who knows we'll talk about all that stuff and if you like i've earned your uh, subscription and you enjoy the content on the channel please hit that sub button down below give the video a like it helps us out a lot so yeah i opened all my packs got all my cards i basically have everything in Whizbang. i'm missing like one signature i have the diamonds we'll talk about that in a second but i digested as much content as i possibly can but the one thing that really did irk me was this sonya game breaking bug where this card where you play sodia you play the pirate the mixer cost one allows you to get a copy of sodia and then buff up your weapon for like a ridiculous amount of damage like we do here you can see we hit for like just way way too much again we'll have, we'll have a video later today to highlight said deck but i did put out this comment because this is just like always a common trend it feels like with hearthstone patches that things just aren't play tested because there's just no way this was play tested or if it was it was like on a really early build that went through some changes because i said on twitter here it's pretty wild to me that the interaction between sandbox scoundrels so that card right there and sonia that legendary right there uh were was not tested before the expansion launch the reason i say this is the bug wasn't noted until we did theory crafting when we noticed or people that were playing those cards notice that if you look at those two cards right what's the first thing you want to do when you see those cards is try them together they're built to work together like the mini for example is one so you want to get copies of the mini but also just discounting sony getting it out early right like they just make sense so you would try it and if you tried it you would immediately see that it's very clear but yeah, it's clear that there was no like big play testing going on, but we've known this for a long time. The they had mass layoffs on the engineers. It's balance testing wise, the game is always a crapshoot. We'll talk about that a little bit later, general impressions of everything. But yeah, for me, it was a big souring point because I faced that back. It was just like, this shouldn't exist. Hell, we spotted it in theory crafting. They knew it was an issue last week and it still didn't get hot fixed or fixed before the expansion went live. And I just think that's really quite lame and put a damper on expansion day for me. And it's one of the things I did want to point out. Uh, there were some other uh, known issues to be updated. So yeah, the Sonya one was documented at 314 that's like six days ago so the during theory crap we noted that and uh crane game also doesn't function as intended uh if you're trying to play cheat out big demons sometimes it just won't so that's cool that cards already seems pretty bad so when it really doesn't even do anything that's pretty bad too and i just feel like if they could catch these bugs the, the week ahead of time they should be hot fixed before then right like that that seems like a pretty like reasonable ask and that hasn't happened um and then there was a bunch of other bugs noted today which again you're gonna have bugs i'm not saying the game should run perfectly there shouldn't be issues but when it's so blatantly clear right like you would play crane game right the card you know how the card's bugged it just doesn't cheat out the demons when you play it isn't that the first thing you would test with the card we have demons in my deck i play the card does it summon the demons again like how is that not tested it just 
it really baffles me. And um, there were other bugs. Uh, basically, some players are reporting that year of calendar rotation did not work on their first attempt. Logging out seems to fix that. So if you tried once and you're stuck, just do it again. You know, the whole restart your router, replug your router. Uh, Lita, shop manager signature card is being granted to some players before they able to collect. Lita, all the rewards track. Uh, basically, you're on your pre-order and you don't want to get that because you're going to get it for free. You don't have duplicate protection. So that's there. Players are reporting various performance issues with the shop. I think when the expansion launched, it was just really hard to get in there. I think it's a lot better now already. Uh, Zilliac's power module is sometimes giving the wrong cosmetic fi finish. The team is still working on unity, precision, and perfection. Good job there. I like that. Uh, the team is investigating Diamond King Plush, not triggering a reroll option like expected. We'll talk about the people suckers that bought that bundle for ridiculous prices. Oh God, I'm one of them. Um, website, the deck deck builder hasn't been updated, up, updated for the new year. Um, Spear the Badlands, the... the Paladin Reno Legendary doesn't seem to be in the spirit for miniaturized cards and won't leave a mini, so that's pretty lame. And apparently Galactic Projection Orb can hit functionally dead minions. In between spells, the team is exploring the mysteries of the universe for answers. So again, none of these bugs too terrible, but again, Crane Game, just Sony, like, what are you doing? With regards to the actual Hearthstone meta itself and not just bugs, it's way too early to say what the best deck is, what's going crazy. Um, I will have a best decks video recommendation uh, tomorrow. I always wait a couple of days because there's less than a day of data to try and give you guys advice on like what to play. And I feel like doing it just one day after is pretty baity. Two days is pretty baity to be honest, but it's at least a better idea. But the way it felt, I played a lot of different stuff. I played like Agro Hunter, uh, Reno Shaman, the, the stupid pirate rogue. Um, we played, I don't think, I didn't play any Wizbang, but just a bunch of different decks. And some felt good, some felt bad, but nothing felt like too crazy. Everything I faced uh, didn't seem too nuts. The strongest things I faced all day for sure though, correlate with what I'm seeing here. Um, Agro Hunter looks really strong with the hound cards and the location. It's just a lot of damage a lot of really hard to remove their early board and then you're dead like it's very very solid um hand buff like aggro paladin looked really good too they got new chargers out there uh so that looked pretty promising ha uh, again more hand buff hand buff rainbow dk also looked really strong i faced a little bit of plague death night but it felt really slow in comparison to the hand buff stuff which does seem legitimate and yeah odin warrior's still nuts i want to know what the good warlock deck is because there's no way it's the wheel of death that, that could not be good enough it's so slow but i'm guessing like maybe sludges with like doom guards or i doubt it's the big demons but hey maybe let me know in the comments down below is wheel of death killing it for you but demon hunter not dead last early that's that's promising and rogue even though i'm saying it's like the interaction with sony is broken at least early stats say rogue is struggling maybe we'll see but again this is super early numbers less than 24 hours gonna be horribly inaccurate we'll have deck recommendations in a couple of days but my overall take on the meta i had a lot of fun today i actually streamed like eight hours and i wanted to play more and i will play more We'll be streaming more on my channel today at twitch.tv uh, slash Zeddy, trying out more stuff. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff to try out. I think it's a great time to get back into the game, just trying to avoid the bugs and all that stuff and trying not to get smorked down by the smorkers up here. But, and I actually lost to a whizbang deck. That was the kind of the funniest thing today is I, I legit lost to a whizbang deck. And that was actually just kind of cool. I, was, I wasn't I was even that mad to lose to it. And I get mad about literally everything. But yeah, let's talk about the uh, bundle controversies and just everything that's in the shop, preview all the portraits and all that good stuff. But first, just in the shop, they have the new Tavern Pass for Whizbang's Workshop. These are usually pretty decent value. You get like a bunch of XP boosts, so a bunch of gold. It's mostly cosmetics, two golden packs. Again, I don't think it's the worst value out there. I know a lot of people get a, feel like they get a lot of value out of it. But for me, it's like, do you really like these cosmetics? It's something you want to buy. The main hubbub I saw on, uh, on Reddit in that, and I was also really pissy about on Twitter, and uh, it's about the diamond cards. In the diamond cards, there's two new ones in the shop, Diamond King Plush and Dialed Elonius, and you look at the price, 6,000 runestones for each. So that's like 60 USD. 75 Canadian and what you get is you get the Diamond King plush which I think is absolutely adorable it's awesome if you look at its animation like what we, we already went over it like when it eats the, the truck or whatever or the train it's really cool it's something I was really looking forward to buying and they used to be priced at like $25 and you get like five golden packs then they bumped it up to like $50 
chained bundles, right? Like you had to get Flint and then you unlocked Holiday Gift for 50. This time they're not chained, but now it's like even more expensive. And yeah, you get two signatures from the latest set. For me, it actually makes sense, sadly, because I get all the signatures and all the diamonds and like I need, I was missing four signatures after my pack opening. It's just really expensive. And a lot of people were pretty excited to get this one in particular. Like, I just wish they would like, if you're gonna charge, let's say $20 for each of these, right? You get $20 for King Plush, $20 for each signature, price it separately. $20 for a card is still insanely, ridiculously overpriced. And not everyone streams Hearthstone for a job and could do a tax right off, right? So a lot of people are really upset. It's the same for Aloni. It's actually, it's a little bit worse. It's priced the same, but for someone like me who already has all the Badland signatures, I just like double dip on a signature I don't even want. So it's like even worse. So a lot of, I, I gotta imagine this will not sell very well, I hope. I hope there's not more idiots like me that do it. I, I know Lieutenant Eddie, I'm sure we'll get along, uh, get in here and all that, but yeah, a lot of people are really upset about it. And I think rightfully so, idiot whales that buy it, myself included, are part of the reason it happens. But for me, it just makes sense. And I just really love having all the diamonds in that one. But basically, unachievable, ununlockable for like 99.9% .9 of the player base. It, it does feel really bad. But there's actually some decent bundles in the shop, right? First off, this one isn't. The Golden Wizbegs Workshop Bundle comes with a Golden Legendary at random and 12 Golden Packs. And I believe I'll put the tweet Imic put out of the Rank 2 Bundle. I'll get either of these. I'm not going too crazy on that. But this is probably the only bundle worth buying in the shop for a regular normal player is the Wig Wizbangs Workshop Bundle. Rank 1 of 2. It's 2,000 runestones or 20 USD, 25 Canadian, and you just get 20 packs, standard packs, which can contain with bank cards and two legendaries. It's actually like above the board value on if you bought just packs with money. If you weren't able to pre-order or you have a little bit of money you would like to spend on the game, this is probably the best bang for your buck outside of like, yeah, the Tavern Pass is pretty decent and this bundle, but don't, just do not be spending your money on stuff like this. It is absolute insanity that only an idiot like me or probably Lieutenant Eddie and some other wills will get. And another thing I do want to mention, which I didn't even notice, I think this went live with the actual patch. Um, All the old, mini sets from all like wild are back in the shop typically when expansion went to wild you could no longer buy the mini set whether it be gold or money they have added them all it does say all golden but if you click on whatever mini set this is uh dead my or dark moon fair you can buy the normal one for 2000 gold or whatever so if you're looking to like get your wild collection a little bit better or whatever that's something you were kind of looking for all the old mini sets are available for gold, for whatever that's worth. And yeah, the last thing I did wanna do is fully preview uh, the new portraits. There's three in the shop, two of which are pretty crazy. Uh, first, we have the Leroy Legendary Bundle for Paladin, insanely expensive as well. I'm kind of going broke this patch. Uh, it costs 2,500 runestones, so $25 USD. Uh, 3125 Canadian comes with five Paladin packs. And um, he looks and sounds like this. Leroy the Legend versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Leroy Jenkins! Well met. Not too shabby, chum. Thanks for the assist. That's one in a billion. It's not my fault. Stay out of my way. Reporting for duty. Job's done. Charging in! I'm sorry. At least I have chicken. Battle. 
I love that minion summon. He's like murdering birds. What is going on? Uh, there's also the King Crush Bundle, a premium hunter portrait. So it's got like its own uh, animated hero power, a, a border around it. Uh, comes with some packs, I believe, as well. So it's some hunter packs. Um, costs 1,500 runestones, so $15 USD, 1875 Canadian. And he growls and roars like this. King Crush versus Rexa. Job done. So yeah, he's a freaking dinosaur. He's just gonna roar a lot, but it is pretty cool. And then we also have a new Warlock bundle in the shop, Sargeras in a box bundle, a more basic portrait. So no animated hero power, no intro animation, just the, the bare minimum for a portrait. It costs a thousand runestones, $10 USD, uh, 12 50 Canadian, and he sounds and looks like that. Sargeras versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine! You dare oppose me, servant? I acknowledge you. Most impressive. You serve well. Such tempting power! What was that? This form has only consecrated my evil. Job done. Tremble before me. Job. Sorry. So that's all the new portraits. There's some returning ones. Cooking Reno is in here. This one's one of my favorites. It's really good. 1500 gold, you can get it. You can get it for gold or 1250 Canadian, probably 10 bucks USD. Um, and Titan Blade Valera, not a bad one either for a thousand gold, uh, like 750 USD, 875 Canadian back. And I think these were already in there, but Daring, uh, Darian and Ilhuf Illidan also returning portraits that you can get with gold. So yeah, um, mostly just, you know, shop update stuff. All this stuff is already loaded the game, but let me know what you guys think about, you know, the, the bugs and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, tune in later where we actually abuse some bugs because Blizzard won't fix them. We're gonna smash some face with them. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.